This Practice 411 tutorial details how to remove metadata using the built-in tools found within Word 2007, and then saving that file and then converting it to a searchable PDF using Adobe Acrobat. The first requirement, of course, is to have a document that you wish to remove metadata from. You can see we have text in our sample document, as well as having information placed in the footer being a page number. The first thing to do is to go up to the Word button, the Office button, move down to Prepare. This will open the menu for preparing a document for distribution. Select Inspect Document and left mouse click. As the, word, as the file has not been saved, we will need to save it. If you had already saved this file, you would not receive this message, but move immediately to the following screen. We'll save our document down as a .doc file. And this opens the Document Inspector. As mentioned previously, if you'd already saved the document, you would come directly to the Document Inspector screen. This screen details which information you want Word to search for and to potentially remove. Generally, all of these should be checked except for headers, footers, and watermarks. The reason for this is that generally the information found in headers, footers, and watermarks is information that you want to remain with the document, whether you leave it in Microsoft Word format or convert it to Adobe PDF. When you're ready to run the inspection tool, you click the Inspect button, and this returns the inspection results. The blue circle with the white check mark shows that no items were found. However, the red exclamation point shows that there may be information regarding document properties and personal information in this document. This could be information such as the name of the author, the date created, the length of time the document was open, and other such information. To ensure that none of this is sent to Adobe Acrobat, we'll click Remove All, and that changes the indicator from a red exclamation point to a blue circle with a white check mark. At this point in time, we will click the Reinspect button. We once again, have an opportunity to make changes to our selection and click Inspect once again. We can see from the second inspection that nothing was found as far as any of the information selected. At this point, we can click Close. The metadata has now been removed from the Microsoft Word document. At this juncture, we will move to the toolbar, where if you're using Adobe Acrobat, it should have installed the Acrobat tab. By clicking on the Acrobat tab, we open up various options for creating and sending a PDF file from this Word document. You want to select Create PDF. We will left mouse click on Create PDF, and we will receive the PDF Maker warning that the file needs to be saved as a PDF. Click Yes. This opens the Save Adobe PDF file. Make sure you've selected the correct folder, and unless you need to change the name, it will use the name that you assigned to the Word document, except it replaces the .doc or .docx with .pdf. However, before we save this file, we want to click on the Options button. This opens the PDF Options menu. You wish to leave Convert Document Information checked. You want to check Enable Accessibility and Reflow with tagged Adobe PDF. You also want to create bookmarks. And the method of creating those bookmarks will be converting Word headings to bookmarks. Generally, if you want to convert all pages of the document, you will leave All checked. Click OK. At this juncture, we can click the Save button. Adobe Acrobat has now created a PDF of the Word document. Well, if, in fact, this is a searchable Word document by determining whether or not a text layer has been created in addition to the image. We can tell by looking at the icon for the pointer. As you can see, the cursor is a point until we move it over the text, at which time it becomes a select tool. If we select text by holding down the left mouse button and then right-clicking, we see we can copy the text. This is an indication that there is, in fact, a text layer present in this PDF document. We select Copy, and then open our Word document again, or a Word document, and then paste that information into the Word document. We can see that, in fact, there was a text layer that we were able to copy and paste. This means that the Adobe PDF document can be searched by the search engine found within Adobe Acrobat and other search engines. That completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.